Hello and welcome to Yesterday's Airlines. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at yet another brand new mold sample from NG Models. Now, NG have really been pushing out new molds at quite an incredible rate and it's always surprising when I receive a new sample from them because you're thinking, you know, how can you carry on making so many new samples? But one of the ways is obviously to fill out the variant portfolio for types that you already have. Um, and so recently we've just seen the A318 added to the A320 family that was announced um, only a few months ago itself. And now we've got um, the A350-1000, which um, obviously NG already have a series 900 for. And in the image here, you can see at the background, the A350-900 sample that they sent and I reviewed back in 2020. And now the A350-1000 sample. So it might be uh, a bit of a surprise really that there's such a gap between these, especially as um, it does mean that the majority of the in-service A350-1000s have already been produced by the alternative um, moulds that are available, which are by Phoenix, JC Wings, Gemini, and Aviation 400. Looking through the airlines that have had A350-1000s delivered, and the reality is that Almost all of them have been covered by everybody at least once, except for Air Carry Bees, who've only been made by AV400, and I think French Bee have just received a single aircraft which hasn't been announced by anybody yet. But that's kind of missing the point. NG clearly think that they're going to sell plenty of A51000s. They're almost certainly correct, and the aircraft itself has got a long history ahead of itself um, and a sales campaign which is really only just begun as airlines look to replace their aging long-haul fleets of 777s, then it is obvious that the A350-1000 is going to be getting new orders. So it makes complete sense for NG to build uh, a mold for this version of the aircraft because it's going to have a strong sales potential in the future. Anyway, um, that's enough of that. I don't need to justify why NG do what they do. They're clearly making excellent models. They're clearly selling well and exciting a large chunk of the collectorate. And they're doing plenty of innovative stuff, but frankly, I'm quite happy that they're just making the best molds on the market most of the time and producing them in really good detail. Okay, anyway, we're gonna get on to the review in a second as always. Check out Yesterday's Airlines, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my Instagram at Yesterday Airlines and subscribe to Facebook as well because I publish on all of those different areas and different material. And I'd like to think that Yesterday's Airlines was the number one place for 400 scale news. Certainly it is in relation to NG Models and Aviation 400 and several of the other brands. So subscribe, people. And now we'll get on and have a look at the new NG Models A350-1000. So as you'd expect, this Series 1000 mold replicates pretty much the same details as the mold for the Series 900. So there's not gonna be a huge number of differences across the two since the Series 1000 is really just a relatively simple stretch of the Series 900 anyway. However, in my opinion, NG already has the best A350 mold, um, and when I compared it in detail, then it has come out top. So we'll have a look through why that is. Also, I've got the Aviation 400 A350 1000 version here, which is no slouch whatsoever. It's a lovely mold and distinctly better than um, the Series 1000 made by JC Wings and certainly by Phoenix. So it is the mold to beat it is the one to compare to, and we'll have a look at the two side by side. Okay, so let's have a look around the mold itself. Now, I was gonna put this up on the stand, but actually it's got quite a large stand hole. It doesn't actually seem to fit the stand very well. So instead we'll leave it on the plastic packaging and move it around that way. I really like the nose of the NG A350. I think that it has an excellent shape. If I just get this in focus. There we go. Then for me, it has the best curve of 
all the A350s down from the cockpit and above it. It shows the quite complex and unusual curving nature of the A350 really nicely. Um, so for me, it is the best. It is slightly superior to that available on the AV400 version. Especially because AV400, just in the last batch, have had some issues with over-polishing the moulds, um, which has really damaged the way that they've looked, not just on the A350s either, but on some of the 777s too. So they need to be careful with that because, you know, you muck up the, the no-shape um, by over-polishing and it kind of ruins the mould, so they need to be careful. The other things that are really good here is the nose gear itself. It's got a lot of really good detail and it is super nice. So for me, I think the front of this A350 is looking great. But then again, it's the same as the front of the A350-900, um, so that's not a surprise. Really, the differences are obviously in the length of the fuselage. And in the undercarriage, the main gear undercarriage. So we'll look at that. But as you can see, looking across the main fuselage, it's looking really good. It's got the same kind of excellent shape and characteristics as their 900 version. Really nicely detailed. Let's move around, look at the wings. Which again look great. And looking at the aircraft from the front, moving around, she looks really good. Now one of the other good things, and one of the areas that I think that the NG350 excels in, in comparison to the AV400 version, are the engines. Unlike the 777s that they've recently been making, they've still got the see-through hollow core engines on these, and they've still got the spinning fan blades as well, which always in mind may actually get a spin. Oh, there we go. These ones spin easily, but just to paint it on the video. And they actually look really good. And if you compare them to what's on the, the AV400 version, if I can get both these in a shot together, which is quite hard, You'll see that actually the fan blades on the NG are better spaced, there are more of them, they're thicker. I think it's got a better look in terms of the engines. So that's one of the areas where the NG mold does benefit over the, the Aviation 400, in my opinion. Those engines, which are really nicely shaped, have excellent fan blades and look really good across the board. One of the other areas where I think it also is slightly better is this main gear. Now, much like on the 777s again, these do not pivot, so the main gear bogies don't pivot, but they get a lot more realism because of that. And one of the other things that I really like on these is the shape of the main gear doors here, which I think is really very good. And the sizing of the tyres here, which in my opinion is a bit nicer than again on the AV400 mould. Now, I don't think the AV400 mould is a bad mould by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually a really nice mould, and they do pivot, you can see, but the, you can also see that the tyres on the AV400 here are smaller than on the uh, smaller than on the NG. And also, I'm not the uh, main gear doors here, they're quite nice, but they don't quite go down as low or as well as they perhaps ought to. So for me, again, I don't think it's possible really to get these in the same shot unless I zoom back out. Let's try that. If I can get them both in the same shot, there we go. I actually think that the the NG versions are looking quite good. However, as you can see, it's not all perfect because NG look like on this sample they've stuck on the uh, the main gear backwards here. So that actually is the wrong way around, isn't it? Um, because it should be it should be like this. So. NG have made a cock up there on the sample, but that doesn't impact the shape of the gears themselves, which um, which should be um, fine. It's, it's, it's odd that the samples keep on getting these occasional cock ups where they've made mistakes. You can see the shape is actually the same from that way. Um, and in that direction, it, it compares nicely. But obviously they've got that wrong. That's just a minor cock up. But nonetheless, I like the shape and I think it works nicely. So. Assuming that NG will get these stuck on the right way around, <laughs> then I think that they, um, the gear doors are slightly better positioned um, height-wise compared to the actual main bogies. And I like the detailing and tyre shape and size of the NG version slightly better. But it's very small. I mean, this is getting to the point now when you've got these good moulds, these really good moulds, these really high-quality moulds by companies like JC Wings and Aviation 400 and NG that 
the difference is a very minimal one. You can be pretty confident that when you're buying models from those brands, are certainly um, 8400 NG, that you're going to be getting a good mold. Uh, most of the JCs are pretty good as well, except some of their narrow bodies. So the differences are small. Obviously, where this is, or well, the biggest difference probably between these two is the fact that the AV400 version comes with these dual lights on the top, um, which are a really nice feature here. Um, they add a little bit of shine, and they're nice. I like those. Um, I don't like them enough that it, it makes me necessarily buy them all because of them. Um, but I've presumably got no problem buying the AV400, A350. I think it's great. Um, in detail, it's probably slightly inferior to this NG Models version, but it is very much, like I say, details. Moving across um, the rest of the mold, and from the back, it's looking really nice as well. But one area I do think NG again have slightly not got correct is the tail top here. If we look at the tail top, it is quite square, probably a little bit too square in my opinion here, um, just at the top here. This portion doesn't curve that much. It's, it actually seems less curved than the tail top on the 350-900 sample, which I probably like a little bit more. Um, it, it's a minor thing, but I do think that's perhaps not as curved as it might be. And if we compare it again to the AV400 version, I think that you know, the AV400 version has a slightly better curve there too. It's very minor, but nonetheless, like I say, when you're getting to good molds like these, then it is these small differences which can make all the difference. As you can see, she doesn't sit down very well. But overall, this is a splendid mold. They just need to make sure they put the main gear back on correctly. And um, there we go. So I can't see myself buying a lot of AV5100s, I admit. It's not really fitting my collection criteria. I've got a few already, uh, a couple of the Airbus examples, one from JC Wings, one from Aviation 400, as you've seen. And I've got a couple of Cathay Pacific versions as well, the Aviation 400. I certainly wouldn't be replacing those with a new mold because I really like the AV400 version. Um, and it's this mold, though, better in detail, isn't significantly better. I do think it's quite a lot better than the Phoenix and the JC Wings versions. Um, whether I go to the extent of replacing them, I don't know, it's really up to you. But I think the thing is that, as I say, there are plenty of AV, uh, sorry, there are plenty of A350 1000s that are gonna be purchased and they're gonna be in service over the next 15, 20 years. Um, you know, Qantas has just ordered some and, and they're not gonna be the last. So there's plenty of room for new models for this variant, even if at the present time, it doesn't necessarily look like there are. And it, for that reason, it's a very sound investment also because Fundamentally, it was probably quite cheap to expand and lengthen their existing A350-900. So overall, this is another excellent mould by NG Models. They just need to be a little bit more careful when they're putting these samples together and sending them to me because, like I say, um, it's got the uh, the gear doors on the wrong way around. But uh, it's a minor thing. It doesn't impact the quality of the model that they will be producing, and I'm sure they won't make that mistake when they actually release the models. Okay guys, well that's it from me for this new A350-1000 series. It's a real looker, and I have to say the A350 is growing on me as an aircraft type. I do think it's a bit more attractive than the 787 personally, but um, that's very much um, a matter of individual taste. Until next time, that's it from me at Yesterday's Airlines. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that there are gonna be some 747 classics coming from NG soon. Come on, NG, where are they? Um, but for now, it's the A350-1000. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you later.